As the rest of America celebrated the July 4th holiday, celebrities across this great land, okay, actually just in the Hamptons, declared their independence from normies! It is actually maybe the biggest party we've ever had seen. Yeah, because Michael Rubin's July 4th blowout had more stars than the American flag. And they traded red, white, and blue for white, white, and more white. Jay-Z and Beyonce, they left Europe in the middle of her tour to come all the way to the Hamptons just to go to this party. Leonardo DiCaprio was there. Kim K, Kendall Jenner, Kevin Hart. Not to mention these three. You got Ben Affleck and his current wife and his ex-wife. I'm kidding, it's, it's not his ex-wife. It's not his ex-wife, it's their daughter. Oh my God, she looks just like Jennifer Garner. Even Tom Brady was there snapping pics, posting from one goat to another. Nobody does a party like Michael Rubin. Question, who, who is Michael Rubin? Michael Rubin is the king of parties. Well, he's done a few other things like own the Sixers. Usher, Neo, and Jack Harlow kept the party pumping into the night. But hey, every party's gotta have at least one buzzkill. Dude, I think this is so gross. There's something just so wrong about an exclusively A-list party. I would also go. That's where you and I differ. I would not go. Did you say you wouldn't go? You showed up on a white jet ski to this house. <laughs> <laughs> you have a white ascot on flowing as he came riding in. Either way, good luck getting Tiffany Haddish off the dance floor and cue the fireworks.